In this video, we are going to learn a quick way to animate walk cycle in After Effects with Quick Bezier plugin. So this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson. And this is how I have separated the layers to prepare the file for animation. Now let's jump on to After Effects and proceed with our rigging process. So here our first job is to rig the arms. So I'm going to select the reference layers of the arms from arm to arm tip and then turn on Dwick and click on arm structure. So all the structure layers have been placed exactly at the center of this reference layer. Now I'm going to select the structure layer and put it above the illustrator files. And let's solo it. And I'm going to parent arm with arm, forum with forum, and hand with hand. Okay, we are going to do the same for the arm for the backside as well. So I'm going to add another structure layer over here. Select the structure layer and pull it below and put it over here. Solo the layers. Parent arm with arm, forearm with forearm and hand with hand. Now we are going to add structure layer for the leg. And for that I'm going to select the reference layer for the leg and click on leg structure. So all the structure layers are placed over here. So I'm going to select it and place it over leg 1 and solo the layers. So you can see that foot and foot toe tip and heel is not placed exactly at that point because we haven't added any reference for those layers. Okay, now it's time to add structure for leg 2 as well. Now we are going to select the structure layers by clicking on select structure and come over here in links and constraints and click on auto rig. So this will rig all your legs and arms. So let's check out our rig. Now if this thing happens then come over here in effects and controls and under IK click on reverse, tick the reverse. Now we are going to select the arm and thigh structure layers of both the legs and hands and parent it with body layer. So I'm going to solo the body layer and select the pin behind tool and move the anchor point over here. And again I'm going to solo the, the head and move the anchor point and put it over here. And same with the neck and I'm going to put the anchor point of the neck over here. So I'm going to parent neck with body, head with neck. All right. So right now, if we move the body, everything should move together. And also I'm going to select this slave one and parent it with arm structure layer two. Now I'm going to select all the structure layers now and turn off the visibility and deselect thigh structure layers and turn on the shy and turn on this one to hide the layers and let's shy out the background layer as well and also turn off the visibility of shadow layer. Okay now we can we are all set for animation. So now I'm going to put a ruler over here at the ground. Okay, now I'm going to put position and rotation keyframe for the body and pull down the body. Let's give a rotation of minus 4. Yeah, minus 4 is okay. And slightly give a rotation of neck and head as well. Let's give it minus 3. Put keyframes. And I'm going to select the foot controller. and. Pull one forward and one backward.
open the position put a keyframe open the rotation put a keyframe press u to open the properties with keyframes and i'm going to give slight rotation and then i'm going to pull this hand this side and let's put keyframes on the position and rotation and slightly give a rotation as well and select this hand and put it this side give a rotation on the opposite side okay so this is our first contact pose i'm going to jump on to next 30 frames bring the work area end over here and then i'm going to paste the same keyframes so this is the contact pose that will complete our whole cycle so our next job is to make the next contact pose for that jump on to next 15 frames and we are going to reverse this key pose so this leg will come this side and this leg will come this side and same with the hands so for that i'm going to copy this keyframes and paste it in this foot and copy this keyframes and paste it in this foot same with the hands also put the same keyframes on the head and the body because the position of the head and the body will be ex almost same in the contact poses so now we are going to jump on to next eight frames and here we are going to make the passing pose so for that i'm going to select foot one and just give it zero degree of rotation and pull it down and then i'm going to select the body layer and pull it up and also i'm going to select foot two and i'm going to give it an opposite rotation and give the rotation of the body zero same with head and neck as well give it zero degree of rotation and i'm going to select the hands and pull it down to give it a curved motion path all right okay now we are going to make the next passing pose by jumping on to eight and do the same copy the keyframes from body and copy this keyframe from head and neck and then we are going to copy the position of this foot and paste it over here and copy the position of this foot and paste it over here and same with the hands as well but while copying the keyframes you have to keep in mind that sometimes this kind of things happens this motion paths gets reversed so you need to fix it up manually so right now i'm going to jump on to next three frames and then i'm going to select this foot and give it zero degree of rotation at this position and then we need to fix the foot a bit sometimes this weird motion happens and at this point i'm going to give it zero degree of rotation and move it down or a very slight rotation so we are going to do the same for the other foot as well so you just need to make sure that the foot is not crossing the ground otherwise it will look weird okay so now i'm going to select 
all the keyframes from this side and key weight is out all the keyframes from this side select and give it is in and the in between contact post keyframes let's deselect this one and give it is is and i'm going to select the keyframes of the passing pose and press and hold control key and click on it to convert it into roving keyframes same with this ones and then I'm going to select this keyframes and press F9 to convert it into easy keyframes. And then let's add the loop expression. So I'm going to copy the loop expression and paste it in all of these properties with keyframes. Okay, now I'm going to select the rotation of the body and let's offset it by one frame then i'm going to select the head and neck and offset it and similarly head from neck okay so let's check our animation all right so we just need to do one more thing just select the passing poses and just pull it above a bit. All right, so that is how you can animate a walk cycle in After Effects very quickly in with the help of Quick Basic plugin. So try it on your own and do let me know if you have any doubt regarding the lesson. So that is it for this lesson. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I will be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.